Let's find him. Dennis. Dennis. What happened? Who? Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Sam, when you focus, you can think through any problem. Keep going. You got this. Sam, no. Don't think about that. Don't let it in. Don't let it in. Focus on me, Sam. Dennis is a distraction. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Sam, keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. From the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here, small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun.
gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? Try to figure out the shooter's face. It's a waste of time. From the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? Sam, stop it! Come back to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun! How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think! You're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. The blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. It seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. 
he found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. she cared about then was looking at bugs and drawing them. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? Valid question. Still not sure. I don't even work here anymore. Someone should really clean up this board. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. If I had the code, I could get in here. Good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. Three, one, two, one. That was in a diary. <clears throat> so let's see. of snooping pays off. Nick kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact, same name as in the email. He was onto something big. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. The 
It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. treated us like family. There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. It wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Prynne never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he said her name as his password. secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on, and he always kept his window open. car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. just after Anna came on, and we really were a small clan. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Dennis tried to talk to me about Nick, and that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. 
What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. The bark got badly burned. Must be where Nick crashed. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area.
two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Oh, I guess I went too far. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. These road signs are intact, not a scratch on them. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road.
Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Road signs were damaged, two of them torn and burnt. The road 
signs were damaged. Two of them torn and burnt.
How could the signs have burned during the crash then? Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. this game before so that took a little bit to figure that out thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. The 
last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Well, I mean, uh, this is a real crazy day we're having, huh, Joe? I knew you wouldn't be any help. You always let her walk all over you. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though so before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe. I don't know. She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? No. Anna, are you... Are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no.
She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. No drinks in here. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Anna always wanted to visit France. But life is just too strange for me there. Here's where she keeps the drinks. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this, like, the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did it... You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. Feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. 